Today we are looking at the general economic situation in the country and looking at what steps government can take to um, reduce the burden on the people, particularly the vulnerable, the poor, and the excluded. You know there are some social intervention policies in place, but some of them are too global or universal, so to speak. It, 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 it benefits virtually everybody. So we think that with government scarce resources, they should be doing, they should target the vulnerable in society and make sure that those policies reach them so they can reduce the pain. Because with the everyday increases in the price of services and goods, in the cost of living will go up high. And when that happens, the income earner is the hardest hit because his income is virtually static. Uh, he gets increments annually or sometimes um, two years or depending on the circumstances and such increases may not even commensurate with the increases in cost of living. So he's always at the receiving end. That is why we're encouraging government to tip in the social intervention policies. We have the National Health Insurance School Feeding Program is there, capitation grant is there, there are others like even the mass metro mass transit system uh, and, and others. But we want government to do more. The bus system in the country, public bus system in the country is not very effective. The railway network is virtually dead in other jurisdictions. When it happens like this, people, even including the, the, the middle and top class people who park their vehicles and join the buses and the, and the tubes. So why can't we do the same? It's good government has intentions to rehabilitate the railway system, but it's taking a while. We must step up those actions. Now that we, we know that the nose dive of the city is not something that we can resolve immediately. The price of crude oil is not in our hands. The prices of other commodities, because they are mostly imported, uh, are not in our hands. And therefore, these challenges will continue to confront us. The only way we can have some breather is to make sure that programs are targeted at the poor, the excluded, and vulnerable, so that at least they can also uh, maintain a very comfortable standard uh, of, of living. This requires more action from government, requires more action from other managers of the economy. It requires action from even working people and we must step up productivity so we can produce more, so the cake becomes bigger and we can all share and benefit from it. But join us in the debate on our platform www.graphic.com.gh.